welcome. Today we're going to show you how to build your first Metaspatial SDK app. I'm Patrick McArdle, a software engineer on the Metaspatial SDK team. In this video, we'll get Metaspatial SDK running on your headset by building a simple application with it. This video is based on the Your First Metaspatial SDK App Code Lab hosted on the developer website. You can follow along there to make it easier to copy in necessary code. Now let's dive in. Make sure you've done the following. Install Android Studio and Metaspatial Editor. Enable developer mode. And download the samples from GitHub. Open up the sample. We'll be using the starter sample project as our base in this tutorial. In Android Studio, navigate to your downloaded samples and open up the starter sample. Connect your headset to the computer and make sure you have developer mode enabled on your headset. Otherwise, it will not show up in Android Studio. Click on the green Run button to build and run it in your headset. During development, it can be useful to have a desktop view of your headset. You can use the cast feature on MetaQuest Developer Hub to do this. Now you can see what I'm seeing in my headset. Spatial SDK has a special integration with the cast feature called input forwarding that lets you control your headset with the computer's keyboard and mouse. You can enable it by just pressing this input forwarding button here. And then you can control what your headset is seeing completely from your computer. Move around the scene, even click on things. Exit it by just hitting that button again. Let's take a quick look at how to move around and interact with things in a Metaspatial SDK app. To move, push up on the right joystick and let go to teleport to the circle on the ground. To rotate your view, just swipe the right joystick to the left or right to rotate. And to interact with things in the scene, you can use the trigger button on your controller or the A button. Let's add something to our scene. Open up the starter sample activity file. In here, you'll see an on scene ready function in the main activity. The system calls this function when the spatial scene is ready to be populated. Let's add a simple cube into our scene here. We'll bring in the necessary imports. And let's see what this looks like in the headset. Now we've got this red cube in the center of our scene. To understand this code we've just added, you'll need to understand ECS. Metaspatial SDK uses ECS to manage the 3D scene. ECS stands for Entity Component System. Here, we create an entity by calling the entity.create method. We attach data to an entity by using components. For example, in the code we just added, we have added in this transform component. This component contains the data for where the entity will appear in the scene, in this case at 000. We won't look at systems in this tutorial, but you can look at our docs to learn more. Metaspatial SDK comes with a number of built-in components and systems, but you can also easily create your own custom components and systems. Now let's try changing our cube by modifying some of the components. First, I'm gonna change the color to be blue by modifying the material component. Then I'm gonna make our cube larger in the Y axis and rotate it 45 degrees. I'll also bring it up on the Y axis so it isn't sitting inside of the ground. 
Let's take a look at what this looks like. Now we've got the blue cube sitting in the middle of our scene and not inside the floor anymore. Say we want to make our cube interactable, that's easy with components. We can make our cube grabbable by adding the grabbable component to it. And now, using the grab button, I can grab the cube and move it around the scene. Laying out your 2D UI is easy in Metaspatial SDK, since existing Android UI works out of the box with Spatial SDK panels. Laying out your 3D scene is easy as well with Metaspatial Editor. Let's take a look. Let's start with laying out 2D UI. In your scene, there's a panel which says Welcome on it. This UI is generated by standard Android UI code. The layout for this UI is in UIExamples.xml inside of your resources folder. Let's edit the text here to display hello spatial instead of welcome. Rerun our app. And now our panel says hello spatial on it. Now let's take a look at 3D layout. In the setup step, you downloaded Metaspatial Editor, our spatial composition tool for Metaspatial SDK. Most of our sample projects that we offer all come with a main.metaspatial file inside of your app slash scenes folder. Open up this file in Metaspatial Editor to see your scene. We can use Metaspatial Editor to easily change the placement of objects in our scene. Let's go ahead and move our panel up. Save and rerun our app. Now you can see that our panel is higher up in the scene. Next, we'll turn our simple scene into a movie theater setup. First, let's clean up our scene and remove the cube that we added in the Add a Cube step. To turn our scene into something that looks more like a movie theater, let's make our panel really big. In Metaspatial Editor, select your panel and modify the transform information in the pane on the right here. Here I'll make it 4 meters wide and 2 and a quarter meters tall and then I'll just bring it down so that it fits in the scene better. Now, let's add a 3D model. Metaspatial SDK and Metaspatial Editor support GLTF, a common 3D model format. Feel free to download and import your own GLTFs into Spatial Editor. But for now, we'll use Metaspatial Editor's asset library to liven up our scene. Open it by selecting the asset library, and then from here, we can bring in a number of assets. So as you can see, now I've added in a couple speakers, a record player, this sideboard, and some plants on the side. Now we've got a nicer looking scene and it's starting to feel like a theater. At this point, we spawn a bit too close now that our screen is so big. We can fix this by using the scene.setViewOrigin API. Let's move ourselves back one meter on the Z axis. Then let's rerun and see what this looks like in our headset. Now you can see we've got this nice looking scene and really big panel. It's now time to play a movie on our big screen. We'll take advantage of Android UI here and use a simple Android web view as our video player. Open up the uiexample.xml file. Let's switch this over to code mode and then go ahead and delete all of the elements in your UI right now. Instead, we'll replace this with just a simple web view. Now, 
let's connect the web view to a video. In Starter Sample Activity, let's go to the Register Panels function and modify it to the following. Bring in the necessary imports. And let's take a look at what we're doing here. In this code, we grab the web view out of our panel. Once we have the web view, we apply some settings to it, and then we call this load URL function to load a YouTube video into it. We'll also go ahead and delete the width and height here, as these are now being supplied by Metaspatial Editor. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy playing videos on a huge screen. Now in my headset, I've got this great big panel in this movie theater setup, and I can scrub the video, play pause, or even adjust the volume. Congratulations on building your first app with Metaspatial SDK. If you're looking for what to do next, check out the rest of our samples. Each one showcases a feature of Metaspatial SDK and might just give you some inspiration on where you can take your app next. We can't wait to see what you build.